15. The countdown has begun, and in just a few seconds, the first of the rockets will be on their way to the bunker site. That's one of the coolest drones I've ever seen in my life. As soon as the smoke from the first launch has cleared, a second one tears across the sky. precision uh, that just hits the targets. I mean, we're not talking about just hitting the building now. We're talking about hitting, you know, the west side room in the corner uh, of that building. The guys love it. Uh, the soldiers, they absolutely love this system. Uh, it's uh, a powerful weapon, uh, and just to see it fire is, is an amazing thing. I've been doing this my whole career, and I, I wouldn't have had it any other way. I love this system. I've loved it since I joined the Army, and I still love it to this day. Fresh from a tour of duty in Iraq, these soldiers from the 13th Field Artillery belong to the first Army unit to field the guided unitary rocket. This bad piece of machinery. Yeah. Just watching it fire is, is an awesome thing just to see. The psychological component is big, too. I don't know that there's any other system out there that provides no warning. <coughs> there's absolutely no warning. Once he's targeted, the next thing he hears or doesn't hear is the explosion. At the launch pad, it's almost time for the second set of test firings. This time, three rockets have been programmed for airburst mode, which should explode just off the ground. That's flying up to 69,000 feet. and images coming back from the targets indicate the test are a resounding success. But the only way to totally be sure is to see it ourselves. How'd it go? Look for yourself. Look for myself. All right, absolutely. First, the airburst explosions. It should have rained down tons of shrapnel on our mannequins. What's amazing is when you look at this impact area, how little damage there is. I mean, it's very specific. You got a burst that comes up about 30 feet in the air, comes down and rains down metal right on the targets it's supposed to hit. You look around, there's very little damage at all. It's a very precise, very lethal weapon. They're all three, three shots all close within this area. Okay. Man. This guy's no longer with us for sure. I mean, just the blast pattern alone. I mean, if anybody's even lucky enough to survive, there's it's, uh, heat and pressure, exactly. along with the fragmentation, uh, that gives us the full effect. Uh, for instance, this one mannequin doesn't have any fragments on it, but uh, it's unlikely he would survive. Oh, uh, yeah, just the pressure on the eardrums, the, the sinus cavities, all those places, just collapsing. Needless to say, this artillery position is no longer functioning. And certainly, the people aren't, aren't able to operate it, and uh, there's some good damage to the artillery piece itself, too. And as for the bunker? Bunker looks nothing like I saw it yesterday. <laughs> no, it's very changed. I mean, there were rooms, there were separate areas. Wow. And there's part of me that uh, I, I love explosives, you know? But the, this is the hard, cold reality that anybody inside this area, it's over. Yeah, it would have taken a lot of uh, smaller munitions, a lot of effort to get at this. Uh, but with two two of our rockets, you can see it's pretty much out of commission. It's finished.